Hi guys, welcome back to another video. It has been a very long time since my last upload and for that I apologise, but I thought today we would try something a bit different. Let's jump straight into Kerbal Space Programme. So I've decided to do a career for the UK Space Agency, or as I'm calling it, the UKSA. So I don't know a huge amount about Kerbal Space Programme. I have played it a little bit. Um, I have um, just sort of gotten used to the game, but the reason I wanted to uh, play it was because I went and watched First Man uh, the other day in the cinema, and it was something that sort of, I love space anyway, but actually seeing um, sort of the Gemini and Apollo mission and sort of Apollo 11 mission and seeing how it all came to be um, and sort of that film some people may not enjoy it I loved it um, and for me I was totally immersed I was totally engrossed in the film um, let's have three shall we let's just go above um, I was totally immersed in the moon and I felt like I was on the moon and I thought it was great um, so yeah I wanted to I wanted to have a go at my own space program so we're gonna call it Meteor uh, I feel like that's a cool name for our first um, space well, rocket at this stage. We haven't really done much research, uh, so we we'll call it Meteor One, and it was uh, it will be to test testing uh, rocket propulsion systems, just so that we can get used to it. I'm going to play this as if we are having our own space mission. So we will add crew. Yep, we will have Jebediah Kerman. Uh, we will add a new stage, so we'll have the rocket first, then we will have the parachute at the end, and let's go launch. Let's see how our first rocket does, and let's fire the rocket. So the intention or the aim of this playthrough um, for me will be to hopefully get to the moon. That's what my aim is, that's what I would like to happen. Um, so let's uh, let's just uh, observe the mystery goo. Uh, the goo jiggles and wobbles as the craft flies. Uh, okay let's recover that and we'll observe that one and we'll take that and we'll observe that one. I know they're probably all showing exactly the same stuff. We're not going to get a high enough altitude. Did I have three or four? No, I had three. Um, not going to get a high enough altitude to um, get anything different. But uh, let's try and control. Uh, uh, try and control the spin. Uh, SAS. Ah, okay. That was easier to control. Right, we'll have it fall that way. Not sure what RCS does. I haven't done the tutorial. Maybe I should have done the tutorial. Um, okay, so we're currently plummeting towards the Earth. Um, when we're a bit lower down, I will deploy the parachute. Um, gather scientific data. I believe for that we just need to recover the vessel at the end. Uh, Right, if I deploy the chute and then hopefully when we get low enough, here we go, it should, there we go, flip us over, sorry Jebediah, you've probably just been sick in there, um, and hopefully we will land, oh not too far off launch, that was a pretty vertical flight, uh, and there we go, we have landed, so we can recover the vessel. That was a successful mission. We have launched our first vessel. Um, so we've gathered some data. We've gathered gathered some science, um, which is good because we need science for research. We can claim some money back off of the parts we've recovered, and Jebediah Kerman has gained some XP. 
So let's have a look at research and development then. We've got 25 points to spend at the moment. So we can go basic rocketry, which will give us a liquid fuel engine, um, which was found in Jebediah Kerman's Junkyard and Spacecraft Parts Company. Mm. Okay, um, we've got the RT-10 Hammer solid fuel booster, which looks like it is a bigger um, solid fuel booster. Uh, and then we've got a fuel tank, which will have liquid fuel for the swivel engine. We've also got Engineering 101, which will give us a decoupler, uh, a thermometer, a Communitron and a Communitron 16S. Now, I quite like the look of survivability because that gives us heat shields, barometers, radiator panel, micro landing strut. Um, it gives us all sorts, although I don't think we need that. So let's go with basic rocketry. Um, that leaves us with 20 points, so we could actually buy more. So we could buy an aerodynamic, aerodynamic nose cone. Um, a winglet and a radial decoupler um, or we can go general rocketry which will give us a, another liquid fuel engine a bigger solid fuel booster and a bigger liquid fuel tank I think let's do both of these and we'll leave it at that for now we can get some more research points in a minute right we completed one of our objectives so oh actually we've completed both of them so let's see what we can uh, what we can add. So haul Mark 16 parachute into flight above Kerbin. Um, so we need to get it between 1,000 and 9,000 meters and between 110 and 260 meters per second. I think we can do that. Um, and test the RT5 flea solid fuel booster at the launch site. So Perform the test, activate the part through the staging sequence when all test conditions are met. So we literally have to try that engine out. Yeah, I think we can do that. That's the engine we're using anyway. Okay, so... We've got to use that engine, we've got to use that parachute. Um, did I get the decoupler? I did get a decoupler. This may not work, but I want to try something. So we've got a, I'm going to put a decoupler, oh no, I don't think this is going to work. Okay, we'll try it. Um, if I put, if I put that there, and then if I put the decoupler there, okay. So stage one, we want this rocket to launch. Then when that's finished, we want to decouple and we want that one to launch. Then we want to decouple and then parachute. Should we try that? Okay, this is Meteor 2 testing decoupling devices. Okay, I should probably save these as Meteor 1, Meteor 2, right? Let's save that as Meteor 2. There we go. Uh, oh, we've also got some messages, so we've got some world first milestones. So we broke the record of speed. Um, We've launched our first vessel, we've got more speed, altitude, altitude, altitude. Uh, we got a thousand meters up, uh, we've returned to the surface, we've recovered a crew, and we've performed the first one of our experiments at home. So let's delete all of that. We've launched our first vessel, so that gave us a bit of money and a bit of science. Um, there we go, and we've gathered scientific data. Um, Okay, should we try it? Alright, let's launch Meteor 2. Let's see if I've got my staging correct. <laughs> this will be interesting. I want to see if this de double 
um, launch will work. Right, let's go. So when this one runs out, we want to decouple. Then we want to... Right, let's decouple. Go up again. So we've done all of them and I could deploy the parachute. Let's see how high we can get. We're at, we're at nearly 20,000 meters. Um how how high, how thick is the atmosphere? Um are we going to start falling in a minute? We're at 25,000 meters. This is insane. So I have actually completed both of those contracts then. Because it didn't actually say deploy. It just said take the... Oh, wow. Um... So we're quite high up now in the atmosphere. Uh, we're at 30,000 meters. Um... I don't know when we actually go into space, but there's the moon. That's what we're eventually aiming for. Um, here we go. We're starting to fall. Um, there's our launch site. Um, right, let's see if we can keep that. Uh, let's toggle SAS. There we go. So I think SAS tries to keep you in a particular spot. Um, we're now plummeting back down to Earth. Jebediah Kerman seems very happy. Um, SAS is great, although we are upside down at the moment, but that's fine. Um, we're at 20,000 meters. Um, we're going... <laughs> 450 meters per second, okay. Um, uh, we're going to be going quite fast, so I'm going to need to deploy the parachute quite early on. Um, there's our launch site, we're at 10,000 meters. Uh, as soon as. Oh, okay, we're going very quick. Uh, maybe I need a heat shield. Right, let's launch, decouple that, launch the parachute. Launch parachute. Launch parachute. Oh, uh, come on. We're at 2,000 meters. Come on. Launch parachute. Oh, dear. Okay. We were going too quick. Um, let's return to launch. Why didn't the parachute launch? Was it because we were upside down? Uh, no, I don't think we'll go as high, um, but we should, or actually, we're higher up so we can, uh, let's observe mystery goo. The goo seems to be getting very cold now. Okay, let's keep that, because we're in the upper atmosphere. We'll do one when we get into the lighter blue. Let's see if we get to 25,000 feet, uh, meters. So we're, what, 20, 24 and a quarter kilometers up. Let's say 6,000 meters. So we are slowing down. Um, that's good. Uh, I'll deploy the parachute and then that can slow us down when there's enough air to, or enough particles in the air to actually open the parachute. Um, that will create enough drag. Um, there we go. So that should slow us down quite nicely. How far away are we from launch? Oh, not too bad. Um, the further away you are from launch, the more expensive it gets. Um, so, can we see Jebediah come through the window? No. But he seems happy uh, down there. He seems quite happy. We could get him to EVA. In the upper atmosphere, we gained some data. Uh, we got some science, 
Uh, we recovered the vessel, so that gave us a bit of science, which is good. We got some money back from the parts, but obviously because we threw off the um, we threw off the thrusters or the boosters, so that we didn't get the money back from them, and he didn't gain any XP. That seems uh, unfair. Uh, so if we flagpole, where's the flagpole? Where's the flagpole? Is that the flagpole? Oh, there's the flagpole. Uh, right, no, we don't want to upgrade that just yet. Um, didn't mean, don't mean to do that. Uh, the right click is like a couple of things. Uh, let's go to R and D. Um, do we look at survivability, that heat shield, or do we go bigger rockets? I'm thinking bigger rockets. Okay, let's go bigger rockets. Uh, how many does that leave us with? Ten. Can we do anything with that? No. Okay. Um, let's go to mission control. Let's get some new uh, contracts to do because they give us a bit of money and a bit of research. Um, test uh, the flea in flight over Kerbin um, so we have to basically get it to 5,000 meters and to that speed um, well we already done that but yeah we'll do that again um, test the RD okay so we've got to get to 34,000 meters with this one so we're going to test some different engines so this is going to be Meteor 3 so let's start a new one. We call this Meteor 3. And this is testing larger rocket propulsion systems. Okay, so we need our command pod. We are going to need, uh, we're going to be testing the hammer and the flea. So I'm thinking, where's our decoupler? We're going to put a decoupler there. We are going to have a hammer. Then we are going to have a decoupler there. We are going to have a flea. Then we need, we'll put some mystery goo containers on. We'll have two mystery goo and we will have two thermometers as well. Let's go. So the flea probably won't do very much because it's quite a small booster and it's now quite a heavy rocket. Um, so that's that. Let's just deploy that. Let's do thumper. Ooh, no you don't. Let's go up. Oh, I need to... Okay. So I'm supposed to deploy it at that height. Or that, at that altitude and that speed. Uh, okay, we're going very fast. Let's... Uh, 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 I want to give it an angle. Okay, we're going 1300 meters per second. Uh, I need, either need a heat shield or I need to launch at an angle to reduce that okay we're now 40,000 oh dear so I haven't actually completed either of those tests okay um, let's decouple that we're now very very high up uh, let's put SAS on uh, we're now out of the atmosphere the goo seems to be getting very cold okay uh, log temperature um, so that's given us a load of science so we're still in the upper atmosphere apparently although there's the moon and I can now see space so Jebediah is looking very happy um, we're also 85,000 meters up this is um, we've reached space Ah, um, we're, we're now in space, um, but I don't know how to get back. Uh, 
it appears to have become brittle. Um, I think we're going to have to transmit the data because... Oh. Uh, let's try and go down. Although, uh, I need another thruster. Uh, I think Jebediah Kerber Kerman has just... Um, given his life. Um, because we're now in space. Uh, okay. Just uh, go away. Uh, okay. Like, but there we go. Um, we're 125,000 meters up. Um, let's view our, our... We are now Jebediah Kerman. This is what he sees. He can see... Kerbin. Um, this is Kerbin. That's our launch site. Um, there. Um, let's see what else we can see. There's our galaxy and there's our moon. Um, and there's our sun. This is... Um, this is quite sad. We will... Uh, end the episode there as Kerman, uh, Jebediah Kerman lives in space now. Um, you gave your life valiantly. Um, yeah, thank you for watching this episode and I will see you next time where hopefully we might be able to recover him. Bye bye. Um, so I've just found this tracking view um, and obviously we're not in orbit. We've got in space, but we're not in orbit. We will eventually fall back down to Kerbin. Um, so that is Meteor 3. Um, so I'm going to see if I can gain control back to it. Here we go. Here we go. This is Meteor 3. Right, we are falling back down to Kerbin. Um, so Jebediah Kerman won't live in space. We do need to slow him down a little bit though. He's going very very fast uh, but I don't know how to slow him down. We've got stability assist on. Um, he's, he's super hot. Um, we need him at an angle. Uh, this is too quick. We're going too quick. Uh, if I... I can't even turn it over now. There we go. We're through the atmosphere. We're okay. Um, I don't even know where we launched from. Somewhere. Um, I can now deploy the parachute. We've slowed down a fair amount. Um, we've got our data. This is good. I think Meteor 3 is a success. Um, yeah, I was a bit sad. I thought we were going to lose Jebediah Kerman, but it would appear not. Let's deploy our parachute and. Uh, We'll recover him and we'll see what what we did. Um, I misunderstood those contracts, which is a shame. There we go. He has landed. Let's recover the vessel and see what we learn. So here we go. We've got quite a lot of science from our mystery goo and um, our temperature scan. Um, so we gained 35 science from that, which is good. We gained some money back. How did he not gain any XP? I'm sorry, he went to space. He went to space. Now, sadly, we've probably lost... Yeah, we've lost the mission... Um, to escape our atmosphere, which is a shame. Um, but let's just do some R&D... Uh, I think survivability of heat shield I think would be quite useful at the moment. Um, basic science, ooh, look at all of these. Yeah, we can't do any of that at the moment, we haven't got enough points. Flight control, haven't got enough, we've got some stability things. Um, so maybe an aerodynamic nose cone would be quite useful. Um, also got some general construction bits like crew cabins etc and advanced rocketry which is cool uh, but I think stability might be useful um, anyway hope you guys have enjoyed this episode 
and I will see you next time where we will definitely move on to Meteor 4 and Meteor 5. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye bye.